So today we're going to be doing a tutorial on a Halloween pumpkin nail design. Um, what we have with our supplies, we have a dotting tool, two-sided, with a large dotter and also a smaller one. We also have this really, 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 really tiny one that we'll be using. Um, we have sinful colors, black on black. We have this um, Sinful Colors nail art brush, um, Flower Girl, and we have New York Colors 112A Times Square Tangerine Cream. We have this in a lighter tint, and we also have the same one in a darker tint. So it's weird because even though it's the same polish, it comes out completely different. Yeah, but it works for this tutorial. So let us start. Oh, also, we apologize for not having videos out very recently. It's just all of there were birthdays and everything. school and everything. So we kind of got delayed, but we'll try to keep up with it more now that we're in the routine of the new part of the year. So, we've already started by painting and drying our base coat for the pumpkin. It is the light tint of NYC Tangerine. And, um, it is completely dry, so we will begin. Okay. This stat. So we started by just dropping off some black polish to um, fill in the carvings of the pumpkin. We're going to be using the green dotting tool that I ordered from Amazon for $2 for a set of five. We're going to be making kind of like a triangle-ish shape. For the eyes and you can make your eyes really the shapes on your pumpkin you can make any color or not any color well you could but we suggest black but you can make it any shape or anything um it's completely personalizable i don't know if that's even a word but you know i'm going with it and then for the mouth just be creative like as you probably know, like, pumpkins can have really, really weird mouths. We're probably just doing a pretty simple one, but so it still looks like a pumpkin. And then for the nose, you can just do a little dot or you can make a square. Or you could leave it out. Yeah, we're probably just going to leave it out for, Easiness. it would just be too smushed. Um, also, what you could do with your pumpkin, you could take a darker tint, which is what we have for this, and you can take a small dotting tool or a toothpick and draw stripes down your pumpkin to give it more of a realistic look. Also, what we have this for, the nail art brush, is for doing a glow effect of the pumpkin, like a light is coming out of it. And so, we'll just be adding the stripes now. Beautiful. And again, this is optional. You don't have to do this. Um, it's just something to make it more realistic. If you want it to look more cartoony, then you could leave these out or you could just put them in. I mean, it doesn't really matter. 
and it also gives it more depth. Yeah. Also, what you could do is take a green and do a vine coming down from the side. We decided to skip out on that for um, time's sake. Um, so, we'll be adding the glow effect now. Again, you don't have to do this. We just chose to do this um, okay, so to show your Okay, so we have just kind of tap in a little bit of glitter. And, you know, you can, like, really scrape off a lot of it so it's just really faint when you go around the rest of the pumpkin. Like, just putting a little here and there just to kind of give the illusion of it actually having a light in it. So, this is our finished pumpkin. Um... Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any um, requests, please leave it in the comments section. And please like, comment, and subscribe on our videos. We'll be having another Halloween nail tutorial soon. Um, so stay tuned if you want to see that. Thank you for watching. Bye!